All right, guys, welcome back. So today we've got a slightly sunny day. So I'm gonna try and do some kayak mods. Late February still, pretty cold, probably in the 30s. But I want to really work on a handle right here. See, the problem is, and I've noticed this on a lot of other people's uh, complaint videos of their kayaks is just that this is just not a great handle. When you're loaded with a bunch of stuff, you know, and you're you're carting it on those wheels, uh, you know, you're going over sand, you're going over something, and it's it's heavy, right? I mean, and it just it's not the greatest thing. It rotates, so I'm gonna try using some PVC and stuff to make like a fixed handle. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some some drilling, which. You know, I'm not too keen on, but we're gonna try and keep it up high so that you know the water lines kind of low. But I'll show you. I'm gonna I have like a gasket system too to try to prevent water from getting in. These screws actually go into like their own piece of plastic. I'll show you on the inside. But what I'm gonna do is put like a, a washer on the back. It worked good. I know this worked good for. For this here, that's how I did this. You know, I put a washer in behind that, and uh, didn't go anywhere. Here's the uh, thing that I made. Now, I didn't glue it down yet, but we're gonna do that. And then what you see here is just like an end cap, right? And then I have this is a uh, garden hose gasket. Kayak hole is gonna be uh, where my fingers are, right? I'm gonna screw that piece on the back. The washer will help spread the load. I should be able to put it right here on the other side. And I think it's gonna be pretty strong. I'm slightly worried that it's gonna you know, move around a little bit like this. But uh, you know, there's only one way to find out. And I, I have tested it a tiny bit, like a cutout piece of plastic from when I cut the uh, front hatch. And you know, it seemed really strong, so we're gonna give it a go. I'm just sick and tired of this thing. I, I really don't like it. I'll leave links to all these pieces, but you know, go to your local hardware store and get these pieces. I mean, they're cents on the dollar, right? I mean, this is half-inch sprinkler pipe. These are 90 degrees. These are a little more. Um, these end pieces. I'm, I'll show you, but I just drilled a uh, stainless quarter inch uh, bolt through there and so everything's stainless pretty much in line with that pad eye right here so there you go that's how you see it Gasket. So now I gotta put these on the other side. I think I attached it. Right, so we're gonna do the next one. I think tightening these things is going to be the trick. Alright, so those are on. Now, to tighten them, I don't know if you can see, but it's just really really tight in there some twe tweezer type players that worked 
too good. That is on there good. So I'm gonna do the other side. There. Just like that. Pretty dang tight. So let's see if we measured properly. Pretty good. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's gonna move. You see it moving a tiny bit. As it gets looser, we can tighten that thing a little bit. I, mean, I probably will, you know. I'm just gonna force to make this loose and then I'll tighten the bolts again. I think for now I'm gonna leave this just to um, be able to tighten it again because that's the only problem is when I, when I glue these, down can't get access to the bolt that's the only uh i think flaw in this design so i waited a month to kind of see how these rubber things would hold up you know i i see a little bit of got a little bit of play and i was thinking of just removing them and get a much more solid connection but you know what i still like the fact that i have a seal here you know in case the kayak flips or something uh, if, you know, I don't want water getting in here too quickly. So, I'm going to stick with these, and then if it's just a little loose, so be it. But I'm going to tighten them now, and then I'm going to glue them up. Let's right, so see how it's squashed down. That's how I know that, oh yeah, that's on there tight. Yeah, that's way better. Look at that, you can see. So I'm just putting this on the bolt underneath. There, once that's locked, then I can mess with this one. See it squishing around. Yeah, it's way tighter. That's what I wanted. Now we're just gonna glue this. Gotta make sure they're straight. Make sure that's good. It'll line up when I push it down more. Alright, so let's put these together first.
Moment of truth. Yeah, like ten seconds. <sighs> That's the final product. I mean, it's a little messy, but I'm probably gonna spray paint it anyway. All right, so the last step will be to spray paint it. I'm gonna spray paint it hunter green. And that's because that's the only spray paint I have in my uh, basement, so why not? I don't even know why I have this color down there. Kind of random, kind of a random color to have. So be it. dry and I'll do one more a reason I didn't really pass art class. Let's see if it works. Solid. 